Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Antigone Freeman and I'm a perfume enthusiast among many other things. And today I'm going to be comparing two cotton candy fragrances that I really like both of. One of them, and they're both very affordable. This is Pink Sugar by Aqualina. And this one is Delicious Cotton Candy by Gail Heyman. Now, Delicious Cotton Candy is the one that my husband prefers, and I like them both equally. Um, I would say the biggest difference, though, is that the licorice in Pink Sugar is discernible, very discernible on some of us. Um, I can smell it directly from the nozzle. It's a nice smell. I'm just going to put one squirt on my hand here and let it dry. Yeah, I get the blasted cotton candy um, and maybe a little bit of the caramel, but definitely licorice. I think it's wonderful. And then this uh, delicious cotton candy, which has uh, leading notes of cotton candy, sugar, and vanilla. It's a little lighter to me, so I use two squirts on the back of my hand there. It's a weird little bottle. I can almost pick up rose in this, uh, and there's not even any listed. It's uh, I'm being fooled by a combination of other notes, I'm sure, and that's only in the opening. The alcohol is not even dry yet, so wait for that to dry down. Go back to the pink sugar. I do. My husband thinks that pink sugar smells like a chemical mess. Um, I disagree with him. I can pick out the different notes and uh, see that the licorice is very, very prominent, but so is the cotton candy and so is the caramel. So, <sighs> and then with the delicious cotton candy, that impression of rose is gone and I'm left with what I would consider a cotton candy sur le fleur, if there's any such thing. Uh, and these are both really competing with the Lens Stantiger Lawn that I wore today, <laughs> but I can wash my hands. Anyway, uh, if you like cotton candy in your fragrances, I found pink and licorice. I found uh, pink sugar online for less than 20 US dollars, and that's a 100 milliliter bottle for 3.4 ounces. And the same thing goes for the Gail Heyman. It's approximately $25. And it's uh, another biggie, as you can see. It's got plenty in there. And uh, I don't know. If you like cotton candy fragrances, I recommend both of these. If you really like licorice, I would say go for the pink sugar because I cannot personally pick up the licorice in delicious cotton candy. And if you don't like cotton candy fragrances, you probably won't like either of these. I thank you for listening to my little opinions. And watching my video if you like to give it thumbs up and if you think I suck go ahead and give that thumbs down you know you want to I don't care they'll get better as I go along anyway I appreciate your time I hope that you check out these fragrances for your own enjoyment and hope that you have a great day thanks for watching